Uh. How do you want it? How do you need it? Oh, good morning, y'all. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, do a follow-up article that was written by, uh, what's her name, Kriti Mehrora. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that last name right, Meharorta. Um, and this uh, was an article that, of course, this story affected her like it affected the rest of us. And like a lot of us, we often uh, wonder, where are Lorenzen and Sharon Wright's kids now? Okay, Because, hell, most of those kids are adults, I believe. And... Um, I want to share something with y'all because this is what um, is 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 very strong and is a good lesson for a lot of people to let you know just how strong the mother and child bond really is, and that even if it's dysfunctional and disappropriate, I mean inappropriate, uh, there is an invisible cord as well as there. Just like you, so is it above, so as it below. So there's a spiritual cord that you can't see, but it's still connected to that child, even though um, it is out of your womb. And uh, of course, a lot of people don't want to give that any credence because they want to feel like there is, they are God and there is nothing no more superior than them. However, I come from a, a different train of thought. I think there is the great I am. Okay. However, let me get back to this story. Um, you know, from that ABC special they did in, um, you know, that what, what was it? Mystery in Memphis. And then the, that chronicle, it detailed, you know, just the heartbreaking tale of the disappearance of Lorenzo and um, that transpired like in July 2010. And the result of that, the basketball player uh, who was shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee, had gone to the area from his home in Atlanta, Georgia, to visit his ex-wife, Shara Robinson, and their children. Shara and Lorenzen had gotten divorced just five months prior to that, but for their family, they remained cordial, or at least it appeared that way. But at last, it ended up being Shara who masterminded her ex-husband murder for money, greed, and family secrets. Curious to know where the kids are now? A lot of y'all are. But here's what... Um, uh, uh, ...was found out. So there was a lot of us who... ...because... I, first of all, my heart and prayer goes out to each and every one of them, from Lorenzen Jr. to the little baby girl. I know he had about six or seven kids, and um, their 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 mother, Deborah, to their aunts, uncles, um, all their families, uh, because this is a, is a tragedy of a travesty of epic proportion. What is the sad part about it is I feel like Deborah, Deborah, the grandmother, is getting the rawest deal. And she got arrested, and because she probably poured so much into them, when she realized she had murdered him, because uh, 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 Lorenzo, remember, there was a long time before this murder was brought to justice, this and came to the light. So I'm sure as she was dealing with her own guilt, and as she was over there looking at that man's kids, looking like him. All the things they went through when she, all of it was coming back. And she couldn't take that. 
That is a lot of emotional and mental stress. And Sheriff, the fact that she hid that um, is devastating. She claims that she was a, a battered wife. However, it can't stand up simply because when you wrote that book and everything that you were doing up and before and up until then was actually premeditation. So I don't feel, I feel bad for her children because they are so in denial that whether she admitted that she killed their father, it's a cognitive dissonance. Who, how, where can they go from here? They already don't have no father. Mother. And the sad part about it is Lorenzen would want them to spend time with his mother. Lorenzen wouldn't want them. I don't, in my opinion, I don't know them personally. But I don't think that he would want the grandmama not to get no love from her grandkids. Because if it wasn't for her, none of them would even be here. They wouldn't be here. She might have had six kids by somebody else. But those six right there that belong to him wouldn't be here. And knowing that you're the tree and those are branches off your tree and you're not able to connect with them is a powerfully painful experience. In the years that Lorenzo and Cheryl Wright were married, they welcomed seven beautiful children into their lives. On April 11, 1995, their first child, Lorenzo Jr., was born. Then came their eldest daughter, Lauren. After her were the twins, Lamar and Shamar, who were then followed, uh, um, who were uh, then followed by the youngest, another daughter, Sophia, uh, who is in her early teens, and among all of them is Lawson Wright. The couple had another daughter named Sierra Wright, who was born March 14th, but unfortunately, just 11 months later, on March 1st. 2003, she passed away in their home in Memphis due to uh, sudden death syndrome. And they said that that uh, hurt him uh, tremendously. And a lot of people think that it was very difficult for him to, and it is, you know, to lose a child. You know, of course, most people start, they start blaming each other. Most couples, they blame one another when something like that happens. You know, uh, this is a sad story for so many reasons. And, and uh, um, the sad part for me is the fact that the kids don't want to believe anything. They ha And they don't want to even reach out to their grandmother because they've made it clear that the reason why they haven't reached out, anybody that they haven't reached out to, how they say it? They say anybody that they haven't reached out to is because they don't want to. We do know that all six of the kids were staying with her when she was arrested in California. With her new partner. Or husband, whoever he was. Um, I'm not a psychiatrist or therapist, but I have studied psychology, and I do think that uh, Shara was suffering from some type of a personality disorder, um, very, very, uh, some underlying emotional problems that she didn't um, get addressed, addressed, I'm sorry. They said in December of 2017, when uh, Shara was arrested, she and all six remaining children were in California. And then when she pled guilty to the charge of facilitating the murder of first degree in the role of her ex-husband murder and sentenced to 30 years in prison, her children stood beside her, believing in who she was. 
the day she pled guilty, she revealed that she came to this decision for and because of her children, adding that everything is not what it seems. So, that's all they need to validate that, they, that she didn't kill their daddy or have him killed. And the fact that she lured him to a spot where they used to uh, mess around at makes it even more devastating that he was trapped into his uh, demise. From what I hear, allegedly, he was entrapped Oof. because he was going to try to probably go back and get with his wife and his children. He missed his family. Lauren Wright, who seemed the most vocal during her mother's trial, said that she and her siblings were all very close. And that if it weren't, if they weren't on speaking terms with any relative, it's because they didn't want to be. Not because they were forbidden by their mother. This, of course, came after Lorenzo's mother, Deborah Marion, asked Shara in court to give her the opportunity to see and communicate with her grandchildren freely. Then all Lauren said was that the siblings just wanted some privacy. We all are so close to each other. We feel like we really don't need much in terms of support because we have my moms and the six of us and we're okay, but you're not, baby. Y'all not okay. And y'all are totally enmeshed in pain. Y'all trauma bonding over and over and over and over and over. Behind the death of your father. All, all of these young people need to be in uh, therapy. All of them. Every one of them. Uh, Lorenzo now, he's probably about 25, 26. He used to work as a basketball coach and train high school students. But now he is an employee at, uh, of a uh, last they check was at QC Investors and spends his time between Riverside, California and Memphis, Tennessee to balance his job and family life. Lauren Wright, on the other hand, according to her Facebook profile, is married and resides in Charlotte, North Carolina. It seems that she has guardianship over Sophia. Some reports that came through said she was a registered nurse. If that's good, if she is, that's good. Then you got Shamar and, uh, and um, Lamar. They, you know, of course, followed in their dad's footsteps. And they wanna, they're well on their way to becoming professional basketball players. They are both forwards in the SIU Edwardsville Cougars men's basketball team with Division I school. They hope to keep playing in the future as well. As for Lawson, unfortunately, not much is known about him apart from the fact that he resides in Houston, Texas. So he's a race away from the other family members. They said, but he supports everything that they do. And to this day, all six right children maintain that their mother's innocent. That disturbs me. That disturbs me. She's not going to be able to heal. I mean, the family is not going to be able to heal because the truth, you can't, you can't fix what you can't face. And I don't want y'all to learn that the hard way. Unless y'all really deal with what happened to your dad. Y'all going to have some difficulties. It's difficult days ahead. And y'all can't be so enmeshed that you can't accept it if your mom did. Then you'll kill, do your dad. Because she pretty much admitted it. So it's 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 a uh, very disheartening, very disheartening. But I wish those kids love. I wish them light. I wish them peace in a world that's so full of uh, hatred and drama right now. I can imagine that um, it's kind of hard 
and probably the, the outside chatter. You know, all that stuff. The baby girl. It was such a tragedy. And I hope that they are okay. Because that's usually, it's like that African proverbs, proverb. When the elephants fight, the grass suffers. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.